Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today I wanted to try out yet another uh, slot machine roguelike, right? We've played so many slot machine roguelikes in the past, obviously Luck Be A Landlord, one of our first ever series uh, on the channel. Uh, we also were playing that game Lucky Hero that was almost like slot machine roguelike mixed in with a little bit of Peglin, and now we're playing the newest one, uh, Spin Hero, and I want to check here to double check it. Uh, it is not in early access, this is a full-on game, um, and... Uh, uh, I was given a, a free review copy, not sponsored or anything, but I was given a free copy, so, you know, want to stay transparent about that. Um, but we're going to just try it, open it up, you know, kind of give our first impressions, stuff like that. So it looks like there's other heroes, um, but uh, the base one is Alaric, the Blessed Knight, uh, Divine Grace Heal, 10% HP after each battle. If already at full health, gain 3 max HP instead. Okay, I like that. So it's like uh, Ironclad, but uh, you actually might gain some max HP. I really, really like that. Um, and, uh, we get some plated armor, or maybe we don't have it yet, or maybe we do, I don't know. All armor symbols give extra armor. Okay, whatever, we're doing it here. And welcome, welcome everyone tuning in, Fallen Romantic, everybody else here. We're checking out a slot machine roguelike here. Um, okay, we'll, we'll go to the top one here. I'm gonna turn the volume up just a little bit. Let me know if it's too loud or anything. So pick a starting bundle. So these are all our inventories that are gonna be in our slot machine. So we could either get Primal Club... Deal damage, lose, oh, okay, so lose damage each attack, loses one damage each, okay, so all this stuff is like, kind of, um, hmm, bomb, or apprentice staff, eight damage consumes mana, that's interesting, applies five stacks of a random deep buff, mana, so a lot of this is mana, or throwing knife, deal two damage and applies two bleed, up to five throwing knives can be combined, oh, deal two damage, poison, okay, you guys know that, I want to try poison and, uh, Poison and bleed stuff. That sounds pretty dope. And, uh, so, okay, here's the enemy that we're fighting. I guess we're gonna spin. And we do certain amounts of damage. So this is how much melee damage we did, I guess. How much ranged damage we did holds arrows. I don't quite understand how that works. Restores 3 HP when health is not full. Five uses. Um, restore mana, armor, huh, okay, 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 um, and then obviously, yeah, our mana's up there, first time in one of your live streams, welcome, welcome, Joshua, glad to have you, um, can also remove a symbol if we want, but okay, let's spin again, so he's gonna do 15 damage and gain 10 shield, so we had 19 shield, so we're fine, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know how we shoot the... Like, what is actually doing... Oh, poison knives. Those are range damage. Okay. And we're poisoning him. Deal one damage for each stack after spin. Loses one stack every trigger. Ignores armor. And bleed. It deals one damage per stack for every, ac for every action performed. Lose one stack every trigger. Okay, okay. So very similar, but bleed is whenever he does something. Poisons just every turn. Okay. So there's obviously nothing really interactive right now for us to do. I want to say, right? Because it feels like everything's just going for us, right? With Lucky Hero, you would still have to like, you have, you would get a board and you might, you wouldn't just get to auto do everything. You had to kind of select which things you wanted to activate and stuff like that, you know? Um, restore seven HP. When health is not full, three uses. Gives three armor, two armor for each space above. Ooh, yeah, Venom Flask. Applies six poison, plus two poison for each other Venom Flask and in inventory. Absolutely. I want to do poison and uh, bleed. That sounds amazing. Let's just say, hypothetically, I bought Peglin without having the money to buy Peglin. Now I'm in debt. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, it's got a lot of replayability, so you picked a good game for that. <laughs> I would obviously say be responsible, but... <laughs> I've been there. I, I really shouldn't be spending money because of the new house stuff, but I, I've, I've been trying the Pokemon Sleep app uh, for the last three nights, and also I'm like, maybe I get back into Pokemon Go. So I bought on Amazon. It's supposed to come like literally probably by the time my stream ends. The actual Pokeball, you know, remote control thing. I don't know if it was worth it. Probably wasn't. But I, I kind of binge purchased uh, last night too. You see Bloomstar Defense 6 is going to get a roguelike DLC? I did. I'm extremely excited for that. 
I'm extremely excited. Um, adjacent strength weapons deal more damage. Deal 5 damage, restore 5 mana. Combine with another mana shard. I'm going to re-roll here. Um, plated boots. Give 6 armor, 2 armor for each space above. 1 damage. Okay, we'll just play the boots. I don't want to waste all my, uh, my re-rolls. And I don't know the time. I'm assuming these are easy fights and these are harder fights. And then these are the boss? Or maybe these are elite? I don't know. Ratfolk Berserker. I wish I could mouse over whatever this is. But okay. So spin. And it, the only thing I'm covering right under my mouse right now is this button. The Adventure Guide. Which, yeah. Regular enemy, elite enemy. I could be corrupted elite enemies. Uh, but there's a button right here that says remove symbol and I have one of. Oh, we can also speed the game up here. Ooh, okay, okay. What is this button? I don't know what that button is. Is this auto? Is this auto spin? Where if I spin, it's just going to continue to spin here? It is. Okay. So it almost feels like a little bit more like an auto battler version of it. Because there's not, so as, as far as I can tell, unless I want to remove something, there's no interaction in the actual game itself. But yeah, the red face was increased damage by 10% for each stack. And deals 15 damage per arrow, takes one arrow from each adjacent quiver. We'll reroll. I'll just take more plated boots, whatever. Um. Yeah, and yeah, obviously we could like, yeah, look at the uh, status effects or whatever. They're like, what is that, frail? There's rare, epic, legendary runes. Agility, miscellaneous, armor, strength, magic, with different uh, rarities on that. So this doesn't even show all the status effects. This doesn't show whatever that is. But I guess we just keep it on the auto here. Weakness, reduce damage for each stack. Huh. This is interesting. This is interesting. Use open chests. Oh, okay, throwing knife. Uh, yeah, and you can combine throwing knives. So like, what does that even mean? How do you combine them? So I'm going to just spin once. Oh. Oh, I think I did it. Okay, so, you know, there's some interactivity. Uh. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, I'm very excited about the, the balloons roguelike thing. But like, otherwise, I kind of just going to have it on auto. So he's poisoned a bunch, he's bleeding a bunch, he's regenerating a little bit. I keep building up quite a good amount of armor. I'm not having to worry about my armor really ever. Okay, five stacks of a random debuff consume mana, burn. I'll, I'll take the disease tome. Chest. We got gold and a common symbol. I'm gonna reroll one more time here. Destroys itself after spin, giving a bunch of gold, sure. Welcome, welcome, Steven. Okay, so spin. I'm gonna speed it up even more here now. I, I'm hoping there's more depth to this. I'm hoping there's more depth to this. And I'm sure there is. I just will say, as someone who has played a lot of slot machine roguelikes, I think I like Lucky Heroes approach a bit more, um, where it wasn't like an auto battler. Like you had a limited amount of like mana or whatever, uh, and you had to choose what you were gonna activate on your board. But this might be a more casual experience, I don't know. Okay, another coin sack, we're gonna get a chest. I don't have any keys, fuck me, I guess. Uh, that sucks. Waiting for Crab Champions to come to console. I know it's going to be a great use of my time and satisfying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be good. This game looks cozy. Does it have any brutal murder fatalities? <laughs> Not that I know of. Okay, also runes, I guess, are potions that can be used every certain battles. Applies 15 poison to the enemy. Absolutely. Apply 12 bleed to the enemy. 
and burn to the enemy. Maybe we hold off on that. Symbol removal, symbol reroll, rerolls all the shop items. Um, mm, takes arrows. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and reroll shop items. Can use once per stage. Removes our, um, yeah, destroys its, uh, we'll probably buy the coin bag. Um, hmm, yeah, let's go get a coin bag. And we will go ahead and get one more symbol reroll. I actually bought two, sim two symbol rerolls. Okay, so now we have a boss. But it is just, you know, still gonna be kind of like an auto battler thing. So let's, I'm gonna just spend one time here. I, okay, I still have blank spots, so. Uh, oh wait, here, let's go ahead and uh, bleed him. And we're gonna poison him. Okay, and then we just turn on, turn on the auto battler. So he's, he's poisoning us a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. Cause look at this, look at all the bleed and poison. It is satisfying to see this happen. So definitely a lot more casual of an experience, I think, than something like Lucky Hero. Beat the first stage, complete the first stage by defeating a stage boss was an achievement and also defeat the boss while having full health we just got. <sighs> um, okay, sure, bag of coins, it'll destroy itself, get a bunch of money. Music's loud. Yeah, let me turn it down here. Let me know. Thank you for letting me know, by the way. I appreciate that. Let me make myself a note. Okay. Let me know if that's better. I need to ask, if a black hole consumed your PC and just disappeared, what are you realistically doing? Probably thinking that I'm asleep or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So spin. I'm gonna speed. I'm gonna speed it up even more here, because there's no interact. Like there's nothing I could do right now. To, you know, besides these, but I can't use these for right now. If I die to one of those ballistic catapults one more time and peg, then I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. Oh no. <laughs> okay, Reroll. It looks like we got more remove symbols and more rerolls. Oh, throwing knives, okay. We wanna take more throwing knives. And then we'll just turn it on. Auto battle here, so he's gonna give himself regeneration. He's hitting for 34, we're still on average getting 35 to 40 shield. We might need to pick up some more shield stuff at some point in time. Cause a big part of a poison and bleed type of build would we want, we would wanna have a lot of armor. Oh, see, okay, we took our first hit there. Incre yeah, cause he has increased damage done yeah, we're starting to take some damage here, but we have a little bit of heals. There we go. Um, ooh, deals 12 damage and extra damage for each unique debuff on the enemy. I'll take that. And, uh, okay. We're running out of mana, though. We don't have a ton of things giving us mana, I don't think. Welcome, welcome, Magic Chef Nate. Everybody else popping in. Um, this consumes mana. I'm gonna re-roll. Yes, throwing knives. This is a new slot roguelike, it is. <laughs> but it's it's a little bit more of like a, it's, it's like a more of like an auto battler slot roguelike. So it's interesting. So we just kind of have it on auto spinning for us. Man, so yeah, all these debuffs. We do have the runes. I do like that you can use the runes every couple battles. I think that's important to add a little bit more interactivity into the game. Okay, reroll. Uh, man, epic for arrow stuff. Wait, gives three damage. Wait, wait, wait. Can I? Can I see what I have here? I wish you could look back, because I think the throwing knives and stuff are agility weapons, and this game's called Spin Hero. Uh, I'm just gonna say wooden shield. I wish I could look though. Like, let me look at my symbols right now. 
Yeah, the throwing knives would have been upped by that. Damn, the shadow chakra would have. But that's fine. I don't really care. I ain't one of enemies. And I do think we need more armor. See, because now we're going to not be taking damage as much. Yeah, we 46 of our damage is coming from the agility type damage. Um, deal 100 damage every five spins. Cooldown resets on elite or boss kill. That's interesting. Um, I'm going to reroll. Eight armor, two thorns. Let's. I like that. Start getting some thorns on us too. Now there's still no reason for us to remove any symbols because we still have blanks and I don't think you can remove blanks. Here, actually I'll see here. Yeah, you can't remove a blank, yeah. So no reason for us to remove anything, you know, until we have the spots. Okay, throwing knives. Oh, I think the throwing knives just auto combine. Yeah, they literally auto combine. So there wasn't what I previously thought there was more interactivity. That wasn't what that was. It just auto does that too. But like I said, I love the presentation, the UI, seeing the inventory here, the slot machine here, all the damage values, and then the enemy here. Every this is really clean. Like this would, I think this would be a really good like mobile game too. Uh, we'll use our last reroll. Yes, deals damage and applies poison. So we literally have it on the max game speed right now, too. Definitely maybe want a way to get more mana, but I don't know. We need more Venom Flasks, too. I have no more rerolls. Deal five damage, restore five mana. Okay, we'll do that because we, you know, more mana would be nice. I haven't really needed to use these runes. Probably just going to use them on the bosses when we need that. Dude, we apply so much poison and bleed. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, sure. Destroys itself. Gives us gold. Okay. Heal. Instantly kills regular enemies. Burn. I mean, I'll get that for now. And then... Steals 10 gold from the enemy each spin. Restores 10 HP and gives 10 max HP when health is not full. Can only be used once. Okay. Heart cookie. I'll buy that. Elaine the pickpocketer. Unlock Elaine by purchasing five items in the shop. Oh, yeah. There's, okay. There's multiple characters. Um, we're also going to say get a reroll symbol. Reroll. Reroll. Yeah. Okay. So now we're fighting the boss. Okay. 15 poison. 12 bleed. 50 burn. Let's go. And we're building up thorns. Deal one damage back to the attacker. And thorns don't uh, tick down. Yeah, I'm still... I Dude, I'm destroying him. Music's good. Okay, complete the second stage by defeating a boss. 12 armor, 1 damage to all agility and magic weapons. Yeah, we'll take that. Ooh, corrupted. What was the corrupted thing? What did that mean? Corrupted elite enemy. We still don't know what that means, but let's go for it. Oh, this guy's got thorns now. Okay. I got armor, though. We, we only have one blank now. Do you know any great mobile roguelikes? Uh, Slay the Spire, Peglin, um... Uh, uh, Void Tyrant, um, there's a, there's a, uh, Solitarica, Solitarica, if you want a Solitaire roguelike, Void Tyrant, if you want a Blackjack roguelike, uh, Peglin or Slay the Spire for more traditional deck builders, um, those would be my top four, uh, that I can think of right now. Balatro, the good, good, good idea from, uh, Manuel, yeah, Balatro just came out on mobile. Uh, 15 armor and 5 thorns. Cool. I like that. It's amazingly small file size. Nice. Yeah, so there's 5 five recommendations for you there. Brotato. Brotato's on mobile. Vampire Survivors is on mobile. So lots of different things. Slice and Dice is on mobile. A lot of, a lot of good ones.
Okay, we got a lot of rerolls here. Okay, deal two damage. Yeah, another throwing knife. Now we're fighting a normal elite. Uh, genie lamp. We're just. F genie came out. Okay, ooh, holds up to 50 poisoned arrows, each applying two poison on use. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Do we have anything that's actually shooting arrows, though? I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the normal quiver. <coughs> but I don't know what's actually using those. We're fighting the risen pharaoh. pharaoh. So far, so good. I don't think we've really struggled, like, at all so far. Um, reroll. Legendary! Attacks every three turns, draining damage from all strength weapons and doubling it. Doesn't really make sense for us. Um, combine with another mana shard to give 40 max mana. Sure, pick your reward. Move two random inflected debuffs. Thor 30 thorns this battle. Nah. I'll reroll. Artified. Two random inflicted debuff. I don't even care to skip. I already have three. And I still don't have any keys. Still don't know how to get keys. But we are, uh, we're doing pretty good here. And I'm not even, well, I could be using the runes a bit more too. Okay, Assassin Shiv. So now it probably makes sense to start weeding out things that we don't need. Like the Apprentice Staff, I can get rid of that. Now, it, now we're going to start thinning out certain things. Um... Reroll, Arcane Bow. Deals 20 damage, restores five mana per arrow. Takes one arrow from each adjacent quiver. Oh, Golden Key, okay. Infinite uses too, what? Vein Cutter, deal three damage, apply bleed equal to damage dealt, okay. Um, 50 bleed to the enemy, yo. Yeah, let's just get rid of the burn. Oh, I can't afford it! Oh, no. I thought I could just buy anything I wanted. Okay, another vein cutter, bag of coins, whatever. We're gonna now remove the apprentice staff. We're gonna get rid of the mana ring. And... We're gonna get rid of a bronze helmet. And... A small buckler. So we have a little bit less shield. Probably worth it. Kill the shopkeeper. <laughs> it's always the answer. Okay, 12 bleed, 15 poison. I could have had some burn on there too, but... Eventually, that heart cookie will tri trigger. Time to grind's last words. Oh, I can't afford it. I was just selling everything. <laughs> Dude, like, nothing has been hard. We finally took damage. We used that cookie. Okay, okay, we did get kind of low. We did get kind of low. Heard me talking shit. Holds infinite rainbow arrows, each applying a random debuff on the enemy. Okay. Fiery Pits. Alric Sword, six damage, two damage for each enemy killed. Oh, that's like our starting. Uh, Bone Chakram, eight damage, six poison, let's go. I 
The navigation I don't quite understand. I, I think I saw some people making fun of the navigation on the <laughs> of this game on Twitter too. Because uh, some of the navigation here feels totally like non-choices. Um, like as an example, once we get back here. Um, oh, okay, more damage, more damage for every debuff. Like for here, when we were here, why would we ever just go straight here? Why would we not take the, the, the extra combat? You know, for more rewards or whatever. Okay, okay, taking some damage here. You heard KSI's new song. I ha I haven't listened to it in its entirety. I know it's a big meme. I've seen a lot of there's a lot of TikToks about it and stuff. Um, three damage to agility weapons. Add two damage to all arrows, tall quivers. I don't think we need that. I don't think it's terrible for our build, but... Okay, Night Shield, 15 armor. 150 armor in the Fortified buff, or instantly kills a regular enemy. I'll just get the armor. Since we don't have anything right now. Sixty. I'm taking four right there. And we healed 10% of our health. And all of our armor symbols give extra armor. Okay. Let's burn, reroll, reroll. Another vein cutter. Hmm. Chainsaw <laughs> Devil <laughs> Ma Demon. Are some of these almost like from Chainsaw Man? I haven't seen much Chainsaw Man. I think I've seen like the first episode or two. Okay, another Venom Flask, finally. Okay, let's go ahead and remove some symbols. We're gonna go ahead and remove uh, the plated boots here. And... There's some commons here. Um... Okay, that's all I'll get rid of for now. Fiery Afrit. Taking some damage here. He's doing doing some big hits. Should I use this? Nah, we got him. Totally. I'll save it. I'll save it for a little bit. Oh god, we're gonna take so much damage. Oh. 15 damage, then plus damage for every three stacks of poison applied on the enemy. And of course, now that I have the key, we're not going to get to use it. Um, I'll just skip. Like, and why would I not go for this extra chest? Some of the navigation makes no sense. Two armor for each space below, extra damage to adjacent weapons. Okay, I'll take that. Okay. Stores all shinobi weapons, deals damage equal to the amount stored. Modifiers apply to all weapons stored. Shinobi weapons. I don't think I have any, right? I think they're ones that specifically say shinobi. <laughs> yeah. Um, grind, what is that map? Yeah, the map's not that great in this game. <laughs> um, okay, restore. Yeah. Okay, we're going to heal... We're gonna reroll everything. Ooh, another druid's tunic. Reroll the shop one more time. Ooh, night shield. More damage to agility. Uh, okay, we get one, two symbol rerolls, and now I'm gonna go ahead and remove probably throwing knife. And poisoned knife. We have so many better things to do now. Honestly, get another symbol removal. And let's get rid of honestly our main sword. Funny enough, our main sword's awful right now. Okay, Zarbeth. Okay, we're gonna bleed him, poison him. Once he's gonna attack, we're gonna gain armor. 
He's still not gaining, uh... He's not attacking yet. He's just buffing himself up a much. Oh, gosh. <laughs> just perfect while well, he... Okay, okay. Now we do it. Wait. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me use my goddamn thing. There we go. You can't use him in auto. That feels... <laughs> that feels weird. You should be able to use it in auto, and it should just hit as soon as you can. Okay. So we beat the fourth stage. Let's go. And uh, reroll... Gives three armor and three thorns, three armor for each space below, reroll. Another druid's tonic, yep. Frozen peaks. Okay. So if we actually had healing in our build, then we might actually be able to start gaining max HP from this, but. Okay. So we already have the golden key. Bone chakra. So I can actually go open up that thing at the top. Because it has just been sitting doing nothing. Dude, this build's really good. We probably need some more healing though. Deal 15 damage more. Oh, damage for all the poison on him. I think we, t I think we probably want to remove some stuff here. Uh, yeah, 10 armor's not gonna cut it anymore. Five stacks of a random debuff consume five mana, no. Okay. And yeah, so there's 24 slots. So with our inventory of 26, there's always two things that don't get used. Still seeming to have, for the most part, normally enough, um, armor. Through regeneration after every spin. Yeah, honestly, let's take that. I think we could use some healing. I think we could use some healing. So yeah, regeneration, heals one HP per turn, lose half of the stacks every trigger. Um... Reroll. Nah, skip. Okay, so we want to go up to see whatever the crap is in these golden chests. Oh, legendary. Oh, 30 armor, 5 damage to all weapons. That's pretty incredible. Okay, I think it's time to remove something. Um, honestly, I think we get rid of the the arrow stuff that we have. Because the only thing that is using them is... Is what? Like, where even is it? I don't even see it. So we're gonna just go ahead. Oh, let's get rid of the scholar wand. And I think we are gonna just get rid of the archer part of this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of. So we're gonna get rid of. Where is. Am I tripping? Where is the other quiver? Going crazy here. Uh, probably ran out, I guess. Okay, whatever. Get rid of the, that. And then we're going to get rid of... Um, I don't even know where, where, our bow, where our bow was. I really enjoyed the sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love slot roguelikes. It just makes the game more fun and it's different. Yeah, slot roguelikes are always a ton of fun. Oh man, are we taking... Okay, there we go. There's more armor. Oh, a little bit scary. Okay, what is in this? Okay, legendary. Deal eight damage. Apply two bleed for each point of damage. Okay. 
So now we're back to 27. Let's go ahead and remove. I don't think the mana shards isn't going to happen. So we're going to go remove that. Um, and can I see the map at any time here? If I use the bit, No, okay. So we want to save our abilities for the boss here. We're fine. See, we're, our, there's only one. We have 26 inventory and overall 25, you know, slots. So, or sorry, 24, 4, 8, uh, 8, 16. Yeah, 20. No, wait. 4, 8. No, it's, f yeah, 4, 8, 16, 20. No, no, there's only 20 spots. I'm, I'm crazy. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. Okay, skip. Uh, I guess uh, money or eventual money. 100 burn to an enemy. Um... Fancy top hat looks really stylish. I don't know what it is. We have to see what it does, though. All right, we got to see what the fancy top hat does, right? I mean, that's a no-brainer. We got to see what it does. Um, I don't think the vein cutter is good for us. I'm going to remove a vein cutter. If we bumped up the damage, then it would be good, but... Okay. So, 12 bleed, 15 poison, and I guess I'm just going to 150 armor because you can't... Yeah, what is fortified? Where he attains 50% of your armor until, at the end of the turn. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like, what does this top hat do? It's so expensive. Fancy top hat. Oh, unlocked Baldwin by dealing 300 damage in one spin. So we've oh, we're gonna die! No! If only I didn't take the hat. <laughs> he was almost dead. Oh, I shouldn't have taken the hat. I'm blaming it on the hat. I'm blaming it entirely on the hat. <laughs> I don't actually know if we would have won without that. Uh, but see, so what I really should have done is. When he was doing it, I guess I, guess I should, maybe also could have held off on the fortified thing. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I tried getting fancy with it. But look at this. So we've already now unlocked. Oh, and I've also unlocked. So I've unlocked. I could inst instead of having plated armor of, as a start, I could get fame and glory, which is gain two permanent power after defeating a boss. See, that's pretty cool. So then we also unlocked uh, the pickpocket class, which just gets extra gold after killing enemies and looting chests. Uh, and Baldwin the Barbarian. Uh, which heals for 10% of damage dealt with each spin, 2% more after defeating a, uh, a boss. If we kill a bunch of elites, we'll unlock the other one here. Uh, and then obviously there's a gamp. It's almost like ascension levels for each character. So I really like the I, I like it. It's definitely more of a casual. It's probably the most casual uh, slot machine roguelike I think that we have played before. Um, but I, I enjoy it. I, I could definitely see doing like a mini series or something on this game potentially. So, you know, if you guys want to see more Spin Hero, let me know. Fun little casual uh, kind of roguelike to, uh, to mix in with other stuff. Because obviously it's all about the synergy building and stuff like that. Um, I do think it'd be... I think the biggest piece of feedback I'd give would be, I really wish you could, I, the map probably could use some love. I don't know specific feedback on that besides what I gave. And also, uh, I, I wish I could use my runes when you're in autoplay mode. Cause I couldn't imagine playing this game without autoplay mode on, you know, uh, but either way, pretty, pretty cool game. So, uh, I guess if you're watching after the fact on YouTube, you know, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell. like go the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when more spin hero videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. And if you guys are going to be grinding out some spin hero on your own, uh, then I wish you guys luck and I'll see you all next time.